I am a shadow, the true self. I'll crush everything that bores me, starting with you. Out of the way. Okay, guys, welcome to Walkthrough Part Five. And look at that—I just got hit by Wind of Oblivion. And so, yeah, this is the fighting gameplay in Persona 4 and Persona 4 Golden. Whenever you feel. So yeah, the Izanagi's weakness, my persona. The weakness is uh, win. So whenever the enemy casts win, I getting a weak style, something like that. And Yosuke Shadow's weakness is electricity. I gotta zap his ass with Zio. Look at that! Boom! Oh yeah. So after he fall down, I'm definitely gonna use cleave since it it has more damage. But careful, mind your health. Oh yeah, miss baby. So I'm gonna zap his ass with Zio again. Look at that. Boom! Oh god, look at that. I'm gonna hit him with a cleave. There you go. Boom! Oh yeah, and now he's dead. Woo! So, <clears throat> yeah. Look at that, I got a 15,000 yen. That's great. Oh yeah. Leveled up Izanagi. I got a Rakunda. Uh, that's kind of important because that's uh, decreased the enemy's defense. And look at that. Yosuke, are you okay? Yeah. What happened? You. You're not me. That thing came from you, Yosuke. You have to admit it, or it'll go berserk again. Hmm. Huh. Well, you have to be brave, my friend. Brave. Damn it. it hurts to face yourself. <laughs> Trust me, I know that feeling. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me. And I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. This is my persona. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. <laughs> he was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. If you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. Hey, Teddy, could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. <sighs> Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district, and the weird room we saw before, did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. 
Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer. They were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. Yosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted. But they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Like how you guys just saved me? Well, um, that seems to be the case. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yes, yeah. I agree. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. All right. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Are you serious? No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? Well, of course, we met a promise. Really? Yeah. Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out. Finally. But there's one thing. I'll what? be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. From the same place? You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here. All right. You might show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Right, got it. Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. Cool. First, we need to make sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! with that face. Ow! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! I was so worried! I mean, scared stiff, damn it! I hate you both! I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Maybe we did go a little too far. Let's apologize to her tomorrow. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> well, see you in the morning. Well, apparently, now Yosuke's got his own persona. Now I'm gonna go back home and look mm -hmm. at that lady right over there. Oh, it's Yukiko. Ar oh, are you surprised to see me dressed this way? Kinda. My parents sent me out on an errand. Huh, um, I see. Are you getting used to your new town and school? Well, actually, I like it here since really? you're here, so... But mm. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. She's not listening. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. Oh, 
Are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Oh, yeah, we're getting along. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, you do? Chie's very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too. And I still remember how we cut class sometimes. <laughs> All right. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Okay. Our inn can't function without me right now. No shit. Um, <coughs> I'll see you at school then. <laughs> All right, I'll see you at school. Well, that's a little scene from Yukiko. And Dad's I'm late. What a surprise. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murder. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Well, I'll be here with you. Don't worry okay. about it. Can you oh, help great. me do some stuff around the house? Sure. Why not? Amagi Inn, located upstream of Samegawa River. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open air. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? We've heard that you're the new manager. Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. Huh? This is boring. Oh. I need to do the dishes. Oh, well, let me help you with that, uh, since you're just a little kid. So, yeah, this is finally, um, well, now I can press triangle button to show stats, but it's not important right now. There's nothing in the fridge, and I'm gonna save my game a little bit right there. And I think I'm gonna go back to sleep. No, no, checking out the TV, forget about that, damn it. Well, it's raining tonight, I'm sure, well, I don't know, will someone appear on TV, that stupid-ass midnight channel? In other know. Inaba related news, the region has seen an abnormal amount of fog over the past few years, and oh, whatever really? the reason, residents of the Inaba area should be extra careful. Our yeah, broadcast right, right, right. tonight was extended to bring you up-to-date news on the incident in Inaba. Alright. Don't need to hear the news right now. Oh my god, someone's really appeared in that stupid ass weird show again. And this time I can't even tell who the fuck is that. Oh, well, it seems to be a woman and she's wearing a kimono. She's reminding me of someone. Hmm. I think. I think that. That mute asshole's gonna try to touch his TV. Boom, look at that. The image disappeared. Just great. Well, I think it's about bedtime. Okay, so... See you guys tomorrow. Well... Oh, look at that. Summon to the velvet room. Welcome. Oh, no. Welcome. Do not, Do be, not alarmed. be alarmed. You are, you are fast, fast asleep in the, in the real, real world. world. I have summoned I you have within your dreams. You within your dreams. You say that like a thousand times, Igor. And so we meet again. Yes, we meet again. This is a space that only those who have, in one way or another, entered into a contract may enter. Really? In your daily life, you subconsciously heard the call to awaken, and you chose to follow the destiny of your inner voice. Oh, that's thereby deep, lady. enacting your glorious awakening to your power. I see. Hold on to this. To what? Oh, that one. I got a velvet key. From this night forth, you are our guest in this velvet room. 
your destiny will require you to hone your power. And for that, you will inevitably require our help. I there see. is but one prize for this assistance. What? You must abide by your contract and assume responsibility for all decisions you may make. Uh huh. I think I understand. For now. Very well. The persona you have acquired. Yes. It is a side of you that shows itself when you face the world around you. Uh -huh. Perhaps you can think of it as a facade of determination. You, your persona ability, however, is yes. that of the wild card. Wild it is card. like the number zero. Uh huh. So that means it is special. The persona ability is the power to control one's own heart. As you form bonds by becoming involved with others, the power ah, of these links. social links is what will determine your persona's I think persona's the social links ability. will, um, you know, increase your power of your personas. Social links are necessary for more than strengthening links. your persona. Wait. At times, they will help light the way to the truth you're searching for. I see. I think Where I understand. Where will your awakened power of the wild card take you? I look forward to traveling the road of your destiny together. <laughs> All right. That's the moment. Till we meet well, again. Yeah, till we meet again. Bye-bye. So, yeah, it's not so important. You just tell about social links and pers we can use many personas. That's all. That's the point. All right. What a lovely morning. Look at that. Yo! Oh, hey there. You saw what was on last night, right? Damn I couldn't tell straight. who it was, but if someone's shown up on TV, we can't ignore it. Let's go check it out after school. Maybe Teddy can tell us something. All right. If it turns out someone was thrown in again, there really might be a culprit behind all this. Even if it is something about that place that's killing the victims. If someone's using that world as a weapon, that's unforgivable. We you need to them. find the culprit, no matter what it takes. Agreed. There's no way the police can do it. Who'd believe that the murderer kills people by throwing them into the TV? Oh yeah, it has to be us, baby. Woo! <laughs> cool. It's reassuring to hear someone else say it. Huh. You know, I tried sticking my head in the TV last night the way you did, and it actually worked. I think I can do that now because I have the same power. Persona, wasn't it? Could uh, be that yeah. we got this gift from someone specifically so we could solve the case. Really? And again, I didn't you managed that. to go inside the TV and get your persona first. I feel like as long as you're with me, I can find the culprit and crack this case. Well, right. let's do our best. Damn straight, partner. Oh yeah, it's time to move on. Aha! This is the social link that Igor was talking about. The first social link is this one. Well, the persona ability is the power oh, yeah, to right. control one's own. So power. this persona As will uh, increase your persona. I mean, the social link links. will increase your persona powers. For example, this is a magician arcane, Yosuke. So whenever you fuse magician arcane, you will get powers. I mean, you will get extra powers. Well. Not so. Actually, it's really important. Alright. Uh, so, this is Cleveland. Look at that. Oh, shit. I mean, hey, Chie. Uh, Chie, um, about yesterday? We're sorry we worried you. Never mind that. Is Yukiko still not here? Huh? Y Yukiko san? Uh, no. At least, I haven't seen her today. Oh, man. What should I do? Hey. Is that stuff you were talking about for real? You know, all that about how people showing up on the Midnight Channel is related to that other world. Oh, we were just talking about that. We're thinking of checking it out later. The person on TV yesterday? Yeah. I think it was Yukiko. What? 
That kimono looked like the one she wears at the inn, and she wore it during that interview a few days ago, too. Oh, she got that's worried, right. So I emailed her last night, but she hasn't responded. I met her in I that... I called her earlier in the evening, oh though, God. and she said she'd be at school today. Oh I... Yeah. Calm down. We get the picture. And you... No! Uh -huh. Well, blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. What's that supposed to mean? I don't Wait, know, too. Are you saying Yukiko was thrown in there? That's exactly we what I was trying to say. We don't know yet for sure. Say. We should check to see if she's safe first. Give her right. another call. Give her another call, Chie. Hurry. No good. Her voicemail picked up. She, she's not oh. answering. Are you serious? Okay. Then is Yukiko-san inside that place? S stop it! Something must have come up. Uh, oh, okay. or she might be helping at the end. She wouldn't be able to answer her cell if that's it. Yeah, but would she skip school for that? Well, I'll give the inn a call. Um, Great. I've got the number here somewhere. Come on, Yukiko. Pick up. Oh, is this Yukiko? Thank God she's there. All right, she's there. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I see. Oh, uh, uh, nah. It was nothing. <laughs> I'll email you again later. <sighs> she was over at the inn. She oh, said they had God. a big group reservation and she had to help out. Yeah. Oh, now that I think I about see. it, this has happened before too. At least once a year. <laughs> she said she'll be <laughs> yeah. at the inn tomorrow too. Oh, For great. crying out loud, Yosuke, you got me worried over nothing. So she Yosuke's was totally fault. fine. Then you were was fine. Is Yukiko sign inside that place? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, but there is a reason we thought that. Oh, yeah, yeah, there is a reason we thought what? that. Well, well, we thought people show up on the Midnight Channel because they're already over in that world. I mean, it makes sense, right? People show right. up on TV because they're inside the TV. But Yukiko san's still here in our world. We might want to see what this is about. All right, let's meet up at Juness after school. All right. You lead the way, sir. So it seems Yukiko is still okay. Well, okay. I think that's more than enough about my sorry escapades. If I hadn't seen the place firsthand, I'd never have believed a story like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no shit. kidding. Anyways, we need to know what's going on inside. There's too many people in here, and how we do that? How? By talking to that Teddy guy? Yeah. Too bad there's so many customers around. I forgot Damn, there's yeah. a sale in the electronics department today. I got it. Come here a sec. Try sticking your hand in and calling him over. I bet that bear's wandering around the entrance anyway. Hey, Chia, stand over here. Make a wall with me. A wall? What's wrong? Ow. Well, um, something's... Not so loud, you idiot! Alright, alright. Dude! Is that a bite mark? Are you okay? Well, actually, in this one, you can answer every answer. But I think I'm gonna choose the one from Persona 4 Anim. I'm gonna go... I think I'm gonna cry. Oh, come on. Don't <laughs> cry. Sheesh, that oh, stupid shit. bear must have done it. That answer is totally different from hey, Persona 4 Anim. We know you're in there. Well, at least it was, it was fun. Is this a game? You bite my hands no, again, I'll bite your ass. Can you sense anyone inside there right now? Who's anyone? I'm a lonely little bear, like always. This land feels so barren. Shut it! So there's no one inside? You're sure? <sighs> I'm gonna go warn Yukiko anyway. Since she'll be busy this weekend helping out at the inn, I doubt she'd go anywhere alone, but still. Yeah. You'll walk with her to school on Monday, right? Sure. I'll go pick her up at her house. 
Maybe we'll find out more on tonight's Midnight Channel. Cross your fingers that this is all just a misunderstanding. What's your cell number? I'll, I'll call you when I watch it tonight. All right, don't forget to watch tonight. All right, so that's it about the Genesis even. Now look at it here. This even is the same as like in Persona 4 also. Let's Talk like about we found out we're gonna find Namatame here. Namatame and, and the Love Triangle. And we've still got nothing that points directly to a suspect. And oh, I'm gonna show you the skip button that you can do in PlayStation Vita. Look at that. All you gotta we do is press the, the start twice the first if day. you wanna skip we got a second the even. One just like it. Well, yeah. If this is a really murder easy. case, there's no doubt we're dealing with a single perp. Uh, if yeah, that's right. true, what the hell's going on? You know, I thought at first this all spun out of that love triangle. Then we have the second case. She's the one who discovered Yamano's corpse. I don't buy the killer shutting her up as a possible motive. She was killed well after she reported the body, and the culprit didn't hide her. It's like they were meant to be found. The only other connection is that she attended the same school as the daughter of the inn where Yamano was holed up. But that hardly points to a motive. Coincidences like that are common. Yeah, I heard about that angle on the news too. What? Is the story about the inn out already? Okay, I got it. How's this? Maybe there was something about the corpse that only Saki Konishi knew. And our perp killed her to keep whatever it was from leaking out. <sighs> Either way, all we can do now is keep investigating anyone involved with the victims. Our perp. It has to be someone in Inaba. Oh, is your detective's intuition at work? Welcome home! Well, finally arrive at home well. again. Well, yeah, she's absorbed the quiz show, whatever. The reveries is empty, well... I'm gonna save the game. Well, I guess that's it for part 5. Thank you guys again for watching. I hope you guys enjoy it. And make sure you click the like button and don't forget to share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe me as well for other gaming videos and make sure you click the correspondent link right here for uh, the previous part and other videos. My name is Kumafogum Entertainment and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!